the figures that you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% and grab all of the epic figures that you can. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Elite Series 67 Cedric freaking Alexander and the Velveteen Dream, guys. I have been waiting on Elite Series 67 to hit ringside collectibles ever since they put these pr the promo images, ever since they went up for pre-order, guys. I have been just salivating at the mouth, waiting on both of these guys to hit, and I had to review these first. These were my most too hyped up. We got Velveteen. We got my boy Cedric Alexander, thank God guys, and elite player. You know what this means. That's all I'm going to say about that, but I cannot wait to get into these things, guys. You guys can, of course, see Cedric Alexander, my boy. Cannot believe we finally got this man in figure form. The same thing for Velveteen Dream. Both incredible talents in the ring. Spinning it around, you have both of their names on the sides. On the back, you get a picture of Ced holding up that Cruiserweight title, and then you got the Dream right there. Of course, you got little read-ups. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. We got the other figures in the wave. On the other side, we got a beautiful picture of Cedric. On the other side of here we got a beautiful picture of the dream and that pretty much does it for their packaging guys so without further ado let's go ahead and crack them out of their packaging my boy Cedric Alexander and Velveteen Dream out of their packaging guys and I love both of these things of course they both do have their flaws which we're going to get into but I am just so excited because we actually have figures of these two not only in Mattel figure form but elite Mattel figure form and we're going to go through those things that I disagree with about the figure but here they are in all of their glory what we'll do first is take a closer look at Cedric Alexander's accessories and then Cedric Alexander and then we'll take a closer look at Velveteen Dream's accessories and Velveteen Dream, guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So to be honest with you guys, it's pretty cut and dry. With Cedric Alexander, we get, of course, the Cruiserweight Championship that he did capture at WrestleMania 34, looking fantastic right here. We have seen this multiple times in the past. First coming with the Network Spotlight TJP figure, which RIP because he's not even in the company anymore. We have the sort of thumbs up or Samoan spike or whatever you want to call this hand, and then we have just a closed-fisted hand on the left side. I wish they gave him the Shelton Benjamin hands, you know, the, like, choke slamming style hands and I wish they would have gave him just the regular chair holding hands or mic holding hands instead but you know it is what it is we'll just have to get over it but I sort of figured out a fig hack around that which I'll show later but that does it for Cedric's accessories guys so let's go ahead and get into Cedric Alexander himself so taking a closer look at Cedric Alexander himself guys I really do like this head sculpt I think that it looks fantastic I think that the true effects also brings it out I honestly think it looks a lot better in person than it's coming across on camera he kind of looks like he's making a weird face on camera or something, but he does look a lot better in person if you guys were to pick up the figure. I like it a lot, and I'm a big Cedric Alexander fan, so I can tell you that uh, if I'm happy with it, then pretty much everybody should be happy with it because I'm pretty picky about stuff like that. Um, one thing I will say is I wish they would have added the fade to his haircut. I may do that myself, come in with like some uh, black watered-down paint and add in the fade to give him that faded look instead of it looking completely bald. Sort of like Aleister Black, they made him completely bald. You could even do it with him. You could do it with a lot of figures. I feel like they do that a lot of times. Going down into the torso, guys. This is where one of my biggest gripes is. You can even see in the background right here. What is that? That is a ripped up torso, sort of like the Finn Balor mold would have worked, right? And they showed us prototype images of the Cedric Alexander, and he had the right body mold. I was super hyped for it. And then they showed the, you know, full release pictures, and he had the Daniel Bryan torso, guys. And I do not know why they did that. They even gave him the Daniel Bryan legs, which are probably too small too. I mean, look back here, his legs are pretty muscular. I don't know what they're doing, honestly. I think that if they would have went with the Kofi Kingston mold right here, it would have been absolutely perfect. Standing these up side by side, you guys will see that Kofi is a, like a little bit taller here, but they could have gotten away with it. I honestly think the Cedric figure may be a bit too short. I know that he's 5'10", but at the same time, I still think that it's a bit too short in my opinion. But this is the torso that I will be switching on here. I am going to do it on action figure surgery. Not exactly sure if I'll get the torso so crack on camera, but I will be switching this torso over here to give him the more accurate look, and then we will be doing some other things, but one thing that we will lose while doing that is the necklace. They did paint his signature necklace that he wears all the time on there, and I think that's pretty cool. I like that they added that. One thing that you can do if you want to, you know, fig hack it is you can take an Elite Jimmy Uso or Jay Uso from Elite 31 and put it on the figure. I have it on my custom Cedric Alexander that we're going to compare it to, but here we go. I really like his arms. I love the way they 
do his um, the way he wears it. He wears the long wrist tape here with his thumb uh, taped up, and then over here he has his gauntlet or forearm band, whatever you want to call it. At WrestleMania, he actually wore a sleeve up to here, so I don't know why they didn't do that. If this is supposed to be based off that, then, but whatever. We still get the tattoo and everything, so I like it. The tattoos do look good. The torso or the crotch piece looks great. This is an amazing attire. This is his WrestleMania 34 attire where he dressed as the Black Panther of Wakanda forever and it looks very good. I love his logo. I think his logo looks great on the back. He gets, he gets some good knee pads in here. Solid black kick pads and that pretty much does it for your Cedric Alexander figure but I love this thing. I think it's fantastic and once we do a few part switches I think that I'm really going to like it. I'll probably pick up a couple more to do customs and stuff of that nature but I really do love the base just Elite 67 Cedric Alexander but now that we've covered him guys let's get into some Elite Cedric Alexander figure comparisons. Alright guys so getting into the figure your comparisons we have the elite series 67 cedric up next to my custom elite cedric that me and bew made together he did the arms the tattoos the hand tape right here and the head sculpt and i did the rest i did the kick pads the the attire there i really wish we would have got this attire this is one of my favorite attires that he's worn but i still like the black panther attire i think it's a very sick attire so i'm not complaining that much but you guys can see BW absolutely nailed those tattoos. He, he nailed everything. BW just an absolute magician. But there is your figure comparison between the custom and the official Mattel version. And for another figure comparison, here is the Elite 67 Cedric Alexander up next to his Gears inspiration, the Marvel Legends Black Panther. And you guys can see the purple in there, all the tones and stuff. Very sweet. You know, you got his necklace design on the front of the trunks. On the back, you got his logo and everything. I think they did a fantastic job. Whoever makes his gear does great. He has Harley Quinn inspired gear. He has Into the Spider-Verse attires. He has very sick and, you know, comic book themed attires all the time. But that pretty much does it for your elite figure Cedric Alexander comparisons guys so now let's get into the Velveteen Dreams accessories so getting into the Dreams accessories guys he does come with interchangeable hands as of all the figures do and this is what I was talking about with Cedric he comes with regular mic or chair or whatever holding hands the regular open hands and you can actually interchange these with Cedric Alexander if you want to like if you want him to have you know a mic in his hand or whatever you could put there this on there of course on the right hand he's not going to have his white tape you could still do it if you wanted to and he could have the blank hand on the left as well. So that is just something to think about if you're wanting to interchange Cedric Alexander's hands. And then we have Velveteen Dream Signature Glasses with the three eyes on there. Very nice. They fit the figure very well. I like the way they fit the figure a lot. Just solid black. We've seen these before. Not this mold, but we've seen very similar sunglasses like the, the same. I, I feel like they just used the same mold and then just added that third piece. And then we have his cloth t-shirt, which is fantastic. I wish they would do this for every single thing, but it fits the figure well. Well, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, it's cloth, it's stretchy, it feels great, it's high quality, and I think it's going to look really good on the figure on display in pick fetting and whatever. I think this is a fantastic shirt. Maybe make a gangrel out of it. I don't know. But... Nonetheless, very good accessories come with the Velveteen Dream. And now that we've covered his accessories, guys, let's get into the Dream himself. So getting into the Velveteen Dream, guys, you will see a fantastic head sculpt. Look at that right there. I think it looks just like Patrick Clark or the Velveteen Dream, whatever you'd like to call him. I think they did a very good job capturing that likeness. I think that this hair mold's very nice. You know, it's not... It's sort of... Uh, he wore this... I don't think he wore this specific attire with this hairstyle. I'm pretty sure this is the hairstyle he wore at one of the takeovers, and then they just paired it with, uh, this is pretty much the first attire he wore on television. I'm pretty sure the velvet pants and everything, but uh, I think it works nonetheless. The only thing I have a gripe about is, let me see if I can get up in here and show you guys what I'm talking about. There is like a gap between the hair and the headpiece. You guys can see right there. Maybe a customizer could come in there and sculpt that out or something, but I may have to fill that in with the black because that is kind of bothersome how it doesn't completely uh, go on, but it looks, it looks just like Velveteen. I think it, it, they definitely nailed the likeness and the hair sculpt and everything is fantastic. I just don't like that gap right there. That gap definitely bothers me. So we'll get, you know, we'll, we'll take care of that on action figure surgery or something. But going down into the torso, much like Cedric Alexander, guys, he does have a problem with his torso. This torso is much too jacked. I know that Velveteen Dream is absolutely cut and he deserves to have a ripped up torso, but not the Triple H torso. I think this is way too big. And what I'm going to be 
be doing is switching it with this Shelton Benjamin. I think that this Shelton Benjamin will do much better. I think it'll look way more like Patrick Clark and Velveteen Dream, and hopefully that won't be a problem to get that torso over there, and I think that this is too jack, man. It's just too jack. Look back there. He's he's lean, and he's cut, and you know, he has muscle, but it's not bodybuilder muscle like this, so I don't know why they chose us to give us that, but we will fix that nonetheless. Going down into the pants, you got all the nice floral patterns on his purple pants going all the way around. I love the dual tone colors. They went with the pink fuchsia type color over the dark purple. Really makes it pop off, and they did a fantastic job on that. You got, of course, his uh, tie loop right there, and then we have this new boot mold, which Velveteen Dream obviously wears. It's the short boots with his little white flaps on there, and they nailed that. I don't think there's ankle pivot. Yeah, they don't, they don't have ankle pivot, but nonetheless, they are nice boots, and they, they nailed it. I think it looks just like it, so it's pretty cool. You know, new superstars coming out, new superstars hitting the, hitting the roster, and we get guys like Eric Young and Velveteen Dream with different kinds of boot molds and stuff, so we get new molds and stuff from Mattel. I think that's cool that they think outside the box, and they don't just give us the stone-cold boots and call it a day. They actually sculpt new things and give us that, but that pretty much does it for Velveteen Dream, guys, so let's go ahead and do some Velveteen Dream Elite figure comparisons. So I figured no better person to compare the Dream to than and Alistair Black. You know, they had a great feud in NXT, and it was fantastic. They had a great match and everything, so why not compare these two? Two uh, figures that I didn't think that we would get for a while, guys, but here they are in the flesh, and I think they did a great job on both of them. I can't wait to fix the Velveteen Dream like I fixed Alistair Black. You know, he was way too short to begin with. I fixed those legs, and I actually have a second Alistair Black that we're going to do some surgery on on the next episode of Action Figure Surgery, so there's going to be a lot of swippages and swappages going on on Action Figure Surgery next time, but here is a great comparison between the Dream and Alistair Black. And that about does it for your Elite Series 67 Cedric Alexander and Velveteen Dream Elite figure review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Overall, you know, my thoughts on both these figures are fantastic. I love the articulation. I like, you know, the way they feel. They look fantastic. All of the, I mean, yeah, the parts, let's be real. The torso selection isn't the greatest, but you can see Cedric Alexander delivering this beautiful lumbar check, which is my favorite finisher in all of wrestling. I love that move. I think that if somebody did that to me, I fractured my back a, uh, like three years ago, guys. That would absolutely, I would be finished. I think that that's a fantastic move. I love that move. I don't think, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that here on the channel, but what a beautiful move. You can see Velveteen Dream just getting destroyed here by Cedric, and uh, I love both these figures. I think that you should definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles and pick these things up using promo code MDTOYS, of course, to save 10%, but overall thoughts are fantastic. You should definitely grab them. Cedric Alexander and Velveteen Dream are both first time in the line, and they're both, you know, main focuses on their shows. NXT for Velveteen Dream should be getting caught up very, very soon, I'm sure. And then 205 Live for Cedric Alexander. So I think that both of these guys are must pickups, and it's going to be exciting to see where they go in the future for MDT. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. If you did, comment down below what your thoughts are on the figures, on the guys themselves. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.